Have you ever wondered what makes a top programmer that good? Is it some special skill they possess that most of us simply don't have? Are they all geniuses? What do they do that makes them the best? While some may possess an incredible knack for programming and some are frankly geniuses, not every top programmer is. And to that end, reaching the accolade of being the top 1% programmer isn't beyond your reach. In fact, anyone can turn into an absolute unit of a programmer by developing a few key traits and behaviors that sets the elite apart from the average. So let's look at those traits and talk about how you can incorporate them into your programming journey. Hi folks, my name is Utsav. If you're new here, I'm a software engineer based in Seattle. I have about 20 years of experience in the industry where I've held diverse software engineering roles and created a few tech startups, and I'm currently at Microsoft. If you're new to this channel, my goal here is to help you get the best out of your career by mentoring you around five key pillars technical skills, engineering efficiency, mindset, entrepreneurship, and financial freedom. So if that sounds interesting, please consider subscribing and follow me at Engineering with Utsav for behind the scenes and monthly Q&As. You simply cannot be amazing at anything without understanding the fundamentals. In the case of programming, this is data structures and algorithms, some core computational theory, and the basics of system design. Top programmers have a deep understanding of various algorithms and data structures. They know when and how to use them efficiently, whether it's choosing the right sorting algorithm for a given data set or implementing the appropriate data structure to effectively manage resources. Their grasp of theoretical underpinnings of computer science, such as complexity theory and graph theory, is immense. This knowledge helps them understand the limits of what can be computed and how they can optimize their code accordingly. They're also very skilled at designing systems that are scalable, reliable, and maintainable. This includes the knowledge of databases, network protocols, and distributed computing principles. Now, is all of this absolutely necessary? No. But if you want to cross the land of average and venture into being the best, you should have as much fundamental knowledge as possible. And this is a theme that you'll notice across all traits that I list out today. They aren't really required to design software, but they will definitely help you write better code and build more robust software, making you a better programmer or a software engineer. The best always go above and beyond than just what is enough. If the fundamentals is the core knowledge, problem solving is the art of applying that information into practical use. I'm sure many of you have tried to solve technical interview questions and struggled with them. Whether they are coding problems or design problems, some of them are difficult and don't necessarily map well to real world problems. Well, those problems aren't testing your ability to exist and adapt in the real world. Your resume and experience should already show that. This is the test of your problem solving ability given an unknown set of challenges namely your analytical thinking, creativity, and persistence. Some of the best programmers approach problems with a logical mindset, breaking them down into smaller, more manageable components, and then systematically solving each part. They often think outside the box and find innovative solutions that others might not have considered. This involves leveraging different perspectives and approaches to tackle those difficult challenges. They exhibit a high level of perseverance when tackling difficult problems until they find a solution, often iterating multiple times and learning from their failures. And pay special attention to the word perseverance here because most of us aren't really born with exceptional analytical ability or creative talents. You develop that over time with a lot of practice, failures, and dead ends. Perseverance is what sets the top apart because they have this bullish mindset to not give up until they find the aha moment. There is this weird notion among software engineers that writing and understanding complex code makes you a great programmer. While there is some truth to that because being able to understand something complex does take some level of adeptness. However, some of the best programmers go to great lengths to avoid writing complex code. They write code that is easy to read and understand following established conventions and standards. This includes meaningful variable names, consistent indentation, and comprehensive comments where necessary. They understand the common code smells and avoid sprinkling them throughout their code. They also rigorously test their code using unit tests, integration tests, and automated testing frameworks to ensure reliability to catch bugs early. They also actively participate and value the process of code reviews, both giving and receiving feedback to improve code quality and maintainability. Obviously, being able to write code using the latest best practices and paradigms means that you have to stay up to date on them, which takes me to my next point. 
The best software engineers deeply value continuous learning that is driven not by requirements but out of their curiosity and passion. They regularly read research papers, follow industry blogs, attend conferences, and participate in webinars to stay abreast of new developments in the field. They're not afraid to experiment with new technologies and frameworks, often setting up side projects to test their capabilities and integrate new knowledge into their main projects. I have an entire video on why side projects are the secret hack to developing all these skills and many more, so check that out after this video if you're interested. But the main thing I'm trying to convey here is that their curiosity leads them to explore various domains such as AI, machine learning, cybersecurity, or blockchain, which may or may not even be part of their day-to-day -day work, but still enhances their problem-solving toolkit. So when the industry transitions rapidly, like it has in the past few years, as most folks panic due to the lack of their skills, the best engineers stay comfortable since they've managed to upgrade their skill set with the latest trends. And this is easy for them because they do it out of passion for learning. The best of the best are also great communicators. They explain complex technical concepts in a clear and concise manner, whether it's through documentation, presentation, or discussions. This gives the perception of things being effortless for them um, because they are able to communicate that well. They also work well in teams, sharing knowledge and collaborating on projects. They also listen actively and contribute constructively to discussions. They also understand the needs and perspectives of different stakeholders, whether they are fellow developers or project managers or clients and tailor their communication accordingly. Part of being the best is not only being good at something, but also quick and efficient at getting things done. The best programmers invest their time to pick out the best tools to get the job done and then also master those tools. They're proficient with a variety of development tools like IDEs, version control systems, debugging tools, and performance profilers. In addition to that, they automate repetitive tasks such as build processes, deployments, and testing to save time and reduce the potential for human error. They also manage their time extremely well, prioritizing tasks that have the highest impact and know when to delegate or seek help. I also have a dedicated video on hacking your calendar to put your time management skills on steroids. So if you think you're bad at managing your time, definitely check that video out. I'll put the link in the description below. Speaking of communication skills and using the right tools for productivity, one such tool that can greatly help you is Markup Hero, which is also the sponsor of today's video. Markup Hero is a versatile tool for capturing and annotating screenshots and documents, enhancing visual communication. It allows you to take screenshots of your screen, windows, or any selected area and provides a variety of annotation options like text, arrows, shapes, pens, colors, crop, and resize just to name a few. I don't know about you, but I find myself needing to take screenshots almost on a daily basis, whether that is to provide feedback on a design or to create images for training material. But the issue is that the built-in tools for this, whether it's Windows or Mac, are pretty basic. Being able to share screenshots with annotations is particularly useful for software engineers and other tech professionals like product managers and UX designers, as it allows you to easily capture and annotate screenshots for bug reporting, code reviews, design feedback, and documentation. In addition to that, with Markup Hero, you can blur out sensitive data from screenshots or toggle a markup into collaboration mode, which will allow feedback directly through annotations. Also, one of the best things about Markup Hero is that it is web-based. So once you take a screenshot, the file is instantly uploaded to the cloud and all annotations happen in the browser. Files are then accessible on any device and from anywhere, so you can share links instead of just images. So yeah, give Markup Hero a try. You don't even need an account to get started, but if you do love it and want to sign up for their monthly or annual plan, you can use the code UTSA50 to get 50% off, or just visit the link in the description below. Thanks to Markup Hero for sponsoring this video. You can't really be the best if no one knows what you do and how you do it. I suppose you can always get visibility by showing off your cool work, but there is an even better way by teaching and mentoring others. The best software engineers mentor junior developers, offering guidance and support to help them grow. This could involve pair programming, conducting code reviews, or giving technical talks. As I mentioned in my previous points, they excel at working within teams, understanding that collaboration always leads to better outcomes. They're also open to feedback and appreciate the diverse perspectives of their teammates. They also actively share their knowledge and expertise, whether through writing a blog post, creating tutorials, or speaking at conferences, uh, contributing to the growth of the programming community as a whole. 
So if you think of it, being the top 1% really isn't about having one or more exceptional skills, but doing a set of things very well. It's really this collection of technical abilities as well as soft skills and professional habits that really set the top programmers apart from the rest. Check out my video on side projects and why they can be your path to becoming the top 1% or this other video about effectively managing your time. Like this video if you found it useful and consider subscribing for more videos aimed at holistically helping you grow as a software engineer. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.